how U.S. banks can face fines and penalties for working with Merrill marijuana related businesses because marijuana is still illegal under federal law. Washington correspondent Alex Alexandra Limon reports the Safe Banking Act would change that, but it faces stiff opposition. The Safe Banking Act would give the marijuana industry access to banks. Senator Catherine Cortez Masto supports the bill. Cannabis or marijuana businesses that exist um, through states like Nevada that have allowed it to um, utilize financial services. She says, as the name implies, the Safe Banking Act would make marijuana businesses safer. Currently, with no banks to process credit card payments, it's cash only. Anytime there's cash and an abundance of cash around a business, you're always going to have concerns for safety and security. The bill has bipartisan support in Congress and it has support from top state law enforcement officials. 38 attorneys general signed a letter urging Congress to pass the bill. Organizations that oppose legal marijuana say that's astonishing because marijuana remains illegal under federal law. And what we're talking about is giving criminal federal enterprises access to the banks. Luke Niferatos is with Smart Approaches to Marijuana. Are, are we going to do that with other, you know, illegal, quote unquote, industries that the mob runs or that the cartels are running? Niferatos disputes the notion that the marijuana industry is cash based. They're actually not accepting cash. They're using electronic bank transfers and receiving checks. He says the real reason cannabis businesses want access to banks is to attract more investors and says more money could turn the marijuana industry into the next big tobacco. In Washington, Alexandra Limon.